this video, I'm going to share with you that the 10 days uh, experience in uh, cycling in Okinawa, the bay packing. So I just arrived to uh, the Naha International Airport. It took a lot of time to fix my uh, damaged item, and then it also takes some time to get the SIM card right at the visitor service center. It's gonna be take some time. So uh, I was told that uh, you can't get SIM card here. It's only that you have to uh, order online, then you can get it there. And I also saw one wow, amazing uh, stay, uh, place. You can uh, get a SIM card here as well. So, but uh, the SIM card that I got from that is uh, recommended by one of the YouTuber, famous YouTuber in Japan. Then I'm going to cycling from uh, the airport to my hotel, uh, Sheraton, Okinawa. Then along the way, I'm going to have some stock to have some bike, and then uh, I will share with you a little bit more the tips, everything. So it's literally around the island of the Okinawa and it's gonna be like more than 10 video for sure so every day I'm recording the daily activity I did in uh, Okinawa so let's go to fix my bike now this is the one to get the SIM card so I think you have to like pre-order and then you scan the QR code over there then you can get the SIM card so uh, that is where the visitor service center the arrival hall is right over there and uh, exit is close over here I think I have to go to the other exit over there now. There's some kind of the renovation on the arrival hall. So I need to go to this, uh, what they call, uh, car park area to alight. And then I start my journey. It is 17 degrees now. It's a little bit cold. And then I'm on my way to my hotel. So it takes about four hours and it is like almost 1 p.m. now. A lot of things to do on the, what they call, the SIM card, the baggage brokerage. And then, uh, so far now I feel quite safe. I will go to a signature point to start to take a photo. And then I will share with you that I think everyone uh, come to uh, this bike trip to uh, do this, uh, take a photo at this uh, airport area. So uh, let's go now. Traffic wise looks good. And then I think it's quite peaceful. I'm still wearing a mask here because there's a construction just right beside. Uh, it's a little bit dusty. And <laughs> later I'm gonna take my mask off. Uh, I think the first thing I need to do is to uh, get lunch. I'm starving. A lot of work after this thing. <sighs> so what I need to do is that uh, you have to starve yourself before you bought the plane from uh, Taiwan or uh, buy food to starve yourself in the plane. So let's go to the signature place to uh, take a photo. So this is a corner that everyone, if you are doing a bike trip, bike packing in Okinawa, you should take a photo right over here, which is a Naha Airport sign. It means that you start from this point. So I'm going to have a good photo, then I'm going to try to straight down ASAP. So along the way, it's quite chilling. I'm uh, visiting this uh, Okinawa in the uh, beginning of March. Comfortable weather, 16 degree, a little bit sunny, but uh, I think it's fine when you're cycling, then you're gonna be sweat a little bit. Now I'm uh, at the city area now. So far, so good. Uh, along the way to uh, from the airport to the city, very smooth right? And uh, keep left all the time. So my tips for you to uh, Grand Island in Okinawa, go clockwise. Because uh, uh, they are driving on the left-hand side. So if you go clockwise, so you'll be on the left hand side, you'll be near to the seaside, so you get the better view. If you are going on uh, anti-clockwise, you have to be on another lane, so you might not able to uh, see a better view. So far, I can smell something good. It's an Okinawa flower over here. It smells very nice, making me very hungry. Uh, my Another tip is like, uh, I'm doing round island, so, but some people, they might go cross into the city but my advice to you that based on my research if you go more on the coastal side more really round corner uh, you get lesser traffic light you get smoother right but it's slightly longer but I believe it's not a bad choice also so uh, let me focus a little bit then uh, I think I need to go to the shrine uh, a temple to pray for a safety journey and a no rain journey I think uh, raining for this ride gonna be a nightmare so let me go pray first then I will go for my lunch I am still not that starving although I'm hungry so I, it's gonna take me about 
seven, uh, 10 minutes to the shrine. I'll show you the shrine. So I'm at this uh, shrine. It looks quite grand, very big. So I'm just going to, uh, not going inside, just going to pray right over here to wish that I have a very safe ride along the way uh, to complete my Okinawa trip. So what you do is just like you have to clap and then you pray, but uh, you can do any way that you like as long as that, uh, the God will hear you and they'll give you a bless. This is where I park my bike and I'm coming here the fish market for my lunch right over here. I feel I can park my bike here but I think it's too hot so I decided to park under the tree and let me show you what you can get in the fish market. I can smell the freshness of the seafood already and then oh wow I saw a boat. I am alone here so it's gonna be a little bit challenging for me to order more food but I will try my best to uh, have some sashimi and something good to celebrate my big success on uh, <laughs> super affordable okay i need to walk around first and then see what i can get and then i think this is a place that you can get the live seafood and holy mama the lobster is huge and then you can get the clam wow that one is amazing it's huge and then uh, green tuban is something like they call it glow in the dark that one is very very amazing okay let me walk around this is the largest lobster i ever see in my life okay let's go uh oh the guy can speak chinese and uh you can testing and then all this like oyster and uh scallop they can uh, open it live in front of you i think behind will be more on the fisherman area so i will not go behind but now they have a half price and then uh, you can just walk around and see which one you like and that's uh, braised tuna uh, oh, oh my god this this one gonna sell like 200 dollars in singapore i will walk a little bit and that's how they prepare the tuna right inside basically they all sell something similar um, i think i will go for the half price so, although I was saying that I need to treat myself a little bit but I'm good. I decided to go cheap and the scallop looks delicious okay so I think what you do is like uh, you get the food and then you bring the food over here and eat it uh, look at the boat looks amazing okay let's go to get my lunch this fish is blue color it's very interesting it's uh, I think it's local from uh, Okinawa I'm gonna try this one I decided to go uh, a place with comfortable seat and then I will go for some scallop I have the fried squid in this box and then the scallop sashimi and the blue color beautiful fish and a bento so hopefully this is a good enough for me to ride all the way to my hotel so let me enjoy my lunch it was an average uh, lunch but uh, i think this uh, fish market is supposed to come early in the morning then you can have more options uh, the bento i had is just a uh, <laughs> but uh, the lady the two hong kong lady beside me they are very very funny um, delicious um, <laughs> they were just like two of them they never really talked to each other but uh, one of the girls is just like mm, oh <laughs> i was uh, trying very hard not to laugh but anyway uh i will not show you much more about the ride because uh, it will be about three hour ride from uh, the fish market to the hotel i will try to rush back because uh, i did not sleep well last night i will stop a little bit and show you a little bit about the view then rush to the hotel along the way basically uh the road is like this quite comfortable right honestly i think i can reach within three hours if i am not going to have any other stop it's a beautiful day along the way uh it's basically almost like that but when i crossing the bridge it's so beautiful and very windy i dare not uh bring up my gopro i scared i drop it but i took a photo of my bike yeah lizard yeah oh my god i nearly run over to a lizard sorry that i scream um i will try to show you whenever there is a bridge again 
I have got more confidence now after about two hours, right? Then uh, it will be passing by a tunnel. So I'm not sure which is the right way or the best way to uh, go on a tunnel, but I will try my best to show you, share with you. So uh, we are in a bike packing. So try not to rush. You are not in uh, any competition. So safety first, always remember safety first. They actually on the website when I read, they do recommend the cyclist cycling on the road on some of the website. But I think uh, it's too dangerous. You can see that um, the traffic, the road is quite narrow and uh, there's quite a lot of big truck in this town area. Maybe in the countryside, you should ride on the roadside. It could be better for you. But for me, I think safety first, I will not go under the, go on the main road. I will always go on the pedestrian because I, I always ride very slow. So it's safe for me and the pedestrian as well. There is a road like this, uh, straightforward, looks fine. And beside is a US Marine uh, base. And uh, it's actually quite windy. It's very difficult for me to cycling. I can't really go fast. Maybe because of the weight on my back. Uh, I'm very happy to see a road like this because I, I don't feel the stress. But uh, when the wind blow, it is still very tough for me, especially the head wind. I wish that the wind will blow from the back, then it will help me to uh, go slightly faster. Uh, the left side, the urine, uh, urine, <laughs> marine, sorry, marine space is like this. Nothing much special, but uh, on the right side, these are the residential area. So I have about uh, 30 kilometers away to go. And I think this one is about two kilometer long stretch, straightforward road, which made me happy for a while. Okay. Let me uh, show you what else I can show later. Look carefully, you can see the sign is uh, say that smaller motorbike, 125cc below, bicycle and uh, pedestrian is not allowed to go on that bridge. So which means that uh, when you plan for this uh, bike road trip, I would strongly recommend you that uh, when you plan, you use the pedestrian walk uh, plan on the map, on the Google map. That will be helpful for you to uh, will not get you to that bridge because uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, this is the signage is only show halfway on the bridge, which means that if you put it on a motorbike road and a route, and then like they will link you to this bridge, and then you have to make a U-turn back, it's gonna be very frustrating. So I'm going to this side near to the uh, coast. It will show you the beautiful coastway in a bit. I think this is a nice park, and then uh, this is some place that easier for me to cycling. Uh, it will not have like big slope, but I will also not able to go too fast because uh, the kids might crossing. But at least I can maintain the speed that uh, I can cycling comfortably. Slow down a little bit, then I can have like some uh, look around the beach. Like it has some of the stone like that is quite unique to me. I'm not sure it's man-made or it's real, uh, natural. It's like people here are enjoying the sunlight. I have to find a place to keep myself in uh, good protection with the UV. Okay, I will try to speed up. My hotel is still very far away. Uh, just like want to show you. When you're cycling around Okinawa, it's different like what you drive around. You might not passing by this kind of a beautiful seaside. I'm not sure, can you see the propeller plane? It looks very cute. And uh, this side is actually an uh, airbase. There are two people that are holding a big giant camera right over there to wait for the airplane to land or take off. And I'm going to maybe wait for five minutes because uh, just now I just heard a very big blast. Maybe uh, very soon they're going to have another plane landing or take off. So far, I'm still feeling okay. I think that uh, my throat is a little bit dry. I have to keep drinking water. So whenever uh, on your Google map, you see a park, 
you actually can try to cycling over there are a place like for you to refill water uh, I think overall like tomorrow onwards there will be more on the countryside uh, it's already passed by the busy area the aquarium is just right over there like, I think if you drive it's about an hour drive to the uh, aquarium then uh, that is the busy part of the Okinawa then I will still go on the busy area and also the countryside to show you all the different side of the what they call the cy cycling route and also kind of like a good challenge for me and uh, actually you can see there's a lot of car over there it's all the air base from the US uh, there is actually a village right inside there there's also a a place, a restaurant, host event, all these things but too bad they don't open for public to go into dine they're gonna be have a good place or have a like steak or beer I think uh, I'm gonna give up because it's a little bit too late I don't think that uh, they're going to have more plane to take off okay, yep, let's go to uh, Sheraton Hotel now now then I recall that I can set up a mode that uh, it will keep the camera horizontally all the way even though I bum 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 a lot I like this road <laughs> it's very comfortable for me and uh okay I think I'm going to sneak into the the main road now uh, lesser car but uh it's quite easy to ride along the way uh, the reason why I sneak on the main road it's actually on the pedestrian is a little bit of the what they call slight bumpy rough uh, on the main road like this is a uh, more comfortable i can literally go slightly faster so i think uh like i say when you are at the city area you will be riding a little bit slower but if you are on a uh, countryside it has a lesser car, it has lesser traffic light it will be able to reach to the next stop slightly faster it's about 6 km away from the hotel I can see that the sun is setting so I decided to do a slightly shorter tour uh, as today got lots of delay from the baggage the SIM card so tomorrow I will start early and then like, go back on track uh, the bigger round it was not in my originally plan got that today I just want to make it easy so uh, back to the track it is still uh, on track to me honestly but just now I was like, trying to challenge myself but I can see that the sun is setting uh, I love this route <laughs> the very smooth uh, straight but it was up here earlier I'm almost half dead so I see the down down slope then I decided to make a video oh my god who is that is that a real person okay so it's another five more uh, kilometer I believe then I'll reach to the hotel so I can rest early I have a lot of laundry to do I need to wash up badly I need to uh, get better alcohol <laughs> and I don't want to miss the uh, what they call evening cocktail at the hotel lounge so I decided to go faster so far what do you think about uh, this uh, Okinawa ride it's, I'm not sure any of the crazy bike rider like me like out of sudden I really feel like I want to challenge myself and I buy a new foldable bike to uh, make this uh, trip without Sean <laughs> he cannot cycling wow. so uh, honestly I think it's a very amazing challenge that it will help to justify yourself that <laughs> you can do anything you want <laughs> it's just like it can be a little bit tough and um, I think on the fourth, fourth day it will be the toughest uh, trip I heard a lot of cyclists they cry uh, a lot of them they refuse to uh, push the bike but honestly to me uh, I'm not on uh, any competition so if in case that you're feeling tired 
you are unable to uh, ride the bike, you can always like uh, go down and push the bike, especially on the uphill. Safe always remember that safety first. I think we are going to have a beautiful view. So uh, get yourself ready. Uh, do not blink. Zoom your <laughs> your camera, your phone, or zoom your laptop. And uh, this is why that I choose to have a cycling trip in Okinawa. It is super beautiful, right? And uh, it's very calm. The oh my god! Wow, the blue is wow. So if you are cycling, you can uh, you see that the entire lane is meow, uh, meow. <laughs> The entire lane is myself, and I can stop any corner to take a picture anywhere. Oh my god, that's a bird, the blue color bird. Uh, in uh, if you tell a uh, Hokkien Chinese that bluebird, <laughs> they'll be angry. Okay, uh, let me uh, stop and take a picture first. It's very beautiful. Do you see this uh, seaside drive-in? This is actually a very popular spot for those uh, uh, on the Okinawa road trip, by trip. They'll stop over here for some food, but I will still go for my uh, Sheraton Club lounge. It's quite near. I think it's somewhere around there. Along the street, you can see uh, this is the most impressive restaurant, and there are quite a few beautiful restaurants. Uh, oh, this jam is uh, quite a good steak house, but I'm not going to this jam. I already found uh, the what they call the restaurant that I like. So now you can see that I'm actually uh, cycling on the road. But uh, the reason why I do that is because I can see not much car around. See that it's a beautiful uh, restaurant. And this one also looks quite nice. Uh, the reason there's not much uh, car around and uh, there is a spacious bicycle lane over here. So I think that I should uh, ride over here. Safer for the pedestrian and I, I also can slightly ride faster. And uh, yeah, that's another impressive restaurant Robataya So let me go faster then I will uh, go to the beach and relax a little bit My hotel is this one the white color one the Sheraton So I'm going in now uh, It has two buildings The one on the left is the old building and there's one and Maybe this one is a new one Yeah, the South Tower is a new one so uh, I think the staff gonna be shocked. Like it could be a first guest, that like, first guest ever check in with a bicycle from the airport. So yeah, let's go to check in. I have reached to the hotel. It's from the airport to the hotel. Uh, let me see how many kilometer. Mm. It's total forty three kilometer, and then it took me forty four hours and forty nine minutes to reach to the hotel. So it's about uh, one one kilometer, about like ten kilometer per hour. It's actually not too bad. I'm quite happy with the result. So tomorrow maybe I can like slow down a little bit, and then I go to my next hotel in an easier pace. You can see behind me is completely dark. I'm actually coming here to this Umusanoniwa to uh, have my dinner. It's about less than 10 minutes walk, but on uh, Google Map it's shown that you need to walk for like 12 minutes. <laughs> Completely dark, right? So it's right over here. Hopefully they are open. Uh, I see no one here. It's uh, a little bit creepy, but I think it should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure if the upstairs and the downstairs are any difference. So, Umushu. I think let me go upstairs. Yeah. The entrance is on the second floor. So, uh, 
Let me go there to have a very nice dinner over here because the rating here is so far the best around this area. And I'm going to show you what I have for the dinner right over here in this restaurant. The staff is a little bit stressed because uh, they only have the Japanese menu, but I have no problem because uh, they have picture in the menu and I can read a little bit of the kanji. So let me place the order and then I'm going to show you what I have for dinner right in this area. Um, I will really show that this is the best around this area. So if you can see that the lady right over there she's actually performing some of the local uh, performance it's a very simple guitar and then like she can sing it very well it's very impressive <laughs> I talk too much but I think I will play one song that, that uh, what she sing later and then uh, you can enjoy the music you, even though you don't have to come to Okinawa you can enjoy the performance Usually when you go to those uh, Japanese restaurants, they will give you one dish, uh, it's chargeable, but if you know how to speak Japan, you can tell them you don't want this. And then, uh, no, that's my awamori and one of my uh, fried tuna. And this is one of the tofu that are uh, in very special in Okinawa. And of course, uh, uh, awamori, this is the oldest alcohol in Japan. Uh, it's like uh, it's used rice, but it's not sake. It used uh, rice to brew. It is still with the uh, shochu whey. Oh wow! Oh wow! Very very strong. And then this uh, tuna like this. I'm going to have a little bit heavy dinner so i'm going back to do all my work to clean up everything back out all the video do the laundry then i will wake up early tomorrow something that attracted me to come over here to dine which is that's a tempura seaweed um it usually soak in vinegar and this restaurant they are quite creative to turn into a tempura mm. Average, but um, it just looks <laughs> tasty than it is. <laughs> but overall, I quite I like this uh performance right over here. They actually invite the guests to go on stage to hold the traditional instrument to take photo. I don't think that anyone have a chance to have the opportunity to take photo like that.
the staff actually just invited me to uh, take photo with the performers and then I just ordered three more dishes that I would like to try. Uh, I cannot remember what I've ordered but uh, in the menu it looks delicious. This is something like a sweet potato and then I remember this one with the shrimp and I had oh this is a pig ear and another amowari which is a very strong drink. This one I ordered the uh, lesser uh, alcohol content. Let me try the pig ear first. Mm. Very refreshing, crunchy. The chili powder make it a little bit spicy, make it more appetizing. Mm. Mm. This is quite interesting. Um, it's sweet potato, but it makes it savory. It's very nice. Mm. And uh, let me try this. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Mm. Oh, wow. It's amazing. They use a uh, baby shrimp to wrap with the tofu and deep fry it. It's very delicious. My first time to have this. Um, although I, um, I was taking video about 10 minutes for the performance. It's cold, but it's still very tasty. I like it very much.